Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about the dexamethasone suppression test. This topic seems like it's difficult, but it's actually quite easy. And we're going to explain it, and we're going to simplify it, and we're going to make it a lot of fun. So let's begin. So to understand the dexamethasone suppression test, it's really important to understand the HPA axis, the hypothalamus pituitary axis. And in this scene, it's represented by over here. We have hippo for hypothalamus. We have the ant for the anterior pituitary. And here we have the adrenals for the adrenal glands. We have the hypohypothalamus, the anterior pituitary, and the adrenal glands. Normally what happens is, the hypothalamus releases CRH. CRH then goes and tells the anterior pituitary to release POMC, which is subsequently converted to ACTH. ACTH then goes to the adrenal glands and tells it to release cortisol. Cortisol then goes ahead and has negative feedback on this whole system. It tells the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary to stop releasing CRH and ACTH. This leads to decreased release of cortisol. Okay, now let's talk about the dexamethasone suppression test. This test is done in order to diagnose Cushing syndrome. It tells us if there's excess cortisol. And also, if there is excess cortisol produced by the body, it tells us where the extra cortisol is coming from. Let's explain. So what happens is, first we give the low dose test. And this is when one milligram of dexamethasone is given. Dexamethasone is sort of like cortisol. It blocks the release of CRH and ACTH from the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary. So in a normal person, one milligram of dexamethasone will ultimately lead to a decreased release of cortisol. And that's because CRH and ACTH are down. However, if the person has Cushing syndrome, then one milligram of dexamethasone is not enough to suppress the cortisol. And thus cortisol levels will be high. So again, in a normal person, cortisol levels will be decreased, will be suppressed by the one milligram of dexamethasone. But in a person with Cushing syndrome, one milligram is not enough to suppress the cortisol and cortisol levels will be elevated. Okay, so let's say the person is been, has been diagnosed with Cushing syndrome. Where does it come from? So that's why we give the high dose. A high dose of dexamethasone is eight milligrams. The reason why we do this test is to determine where the excess cortisol is coming from. Let's explain. Dexamethasone works to suppress CRH and ACTH release from the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary. Let's say a person has Cushing's disease. In Cushing's disease, the problem is in the anterior pituitary. For example, in a pituitary adenoma. In a pituitary adenoma, the pituitary is pumping out lots of ACTH. However, the high dose of dexamethasone is enough to suppress the ACTH released by the anterior pituitary, and thus ACTH will go down and cortisol will go down. So again, when the high dose is given and we're able to suppress the cortisol, we know it's Cushing's disease, that the problem is in the anterior pituitary. However, let's say the problem is not in the anterior pituitary. Let's say the problem is in the lungs. There's ectopic ACTH production in the lungs. Here we have the lungs over here and it's releasing all this ACTH. Here, the ACTH also goes to the adrenal glands and it tells the adrenal glands to increase the release of cortisol. This is really important because now when the high dose of dexamethasone is given, although it's going to inhibit ACTH release from the anterior pituitary, it's going to have absolutely no effect on the ACTH from the lungs. So what we're going to find is that although the ACTH released from the anterior pituitary is going to be decreased, there's still going to be elevated levels of ACTH in the body, and that's going to be from the lungs. And this ACTH is going to continue to have its effect on the adrenal glands, and there's going to be increased cortisol release. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the Dexamethasone Suppression Test. Take care.